Hello children, welcome to the next session of Geography, class 9. We are going to do our next topic, Humidity. Please turn to page number 127 in your books, Humidity. Humidity meaning and definition. Water is the only component of atmosphere which occur in all the three states of matter, namely solid, liquid and gas. In the frozen state, it is, the, it is ice. In the liquid state, it is water. And in the gaseous state, it is water vapor. The most important source of moisture in the atmosphere is water vapor. And its amount varies greatly from time to time and place to place. Humidity is measured in percentage. It, its percentage varies from zero in the cold dry air to as much as 5% in the hot equatorial region. Hence, temperature of the atmosphere is the most important factor. As warmer the air is, the more moisture it can hold. Until saturation point reaches, the condensation takes place. But with the height, the air is rarefied and cannot hold more moisture. Hence, the humidity decreases with height. Definition. The term humidity refers to the amount of water vapor present in the air at a particular time and place. Second point, children. Differences between relative and absolute humidity. Humidity in the atmosphere is generally expressed as relative humidity and absolute humidity. Relative humidity. RH refers to the water vapor present in the air as compared to the maximum amount of water the air can hold at the temperature. Definition Relative humidity can be defined as a ratio between the actual amount of water vapor present in the air and the minimum amount of water the air can hold at the temperature. It is always expressed in percentage. Relative humidity is equal to actual amount of water vapor present in the air upon the maximum amount of water vapor the air can hold in the temperature. A reading of 100% relative humidity means that the air is totally saturated with water vapor <coughs> and can hold, cannot hold any more creating the possibility of rain. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me children. Humans are very sensitive to humidity. As a result, we feel much hotter than the actual temperature when the relative humidity is high. If the relative humidity is low, we feel much cooler than the actual temperature because our sweat evaporates easily, cooling off us off. <coughs> Page number 128 children. Relative humidity increases with more water vapor in the atmosphere and decreases with redu reduction in water vapor content. <coughs> when air cannot hold any more water vapor, it is fully saturated and relative humidity is 100%. Absolute humidity definition. Absolute humidity is the actual amount of water vapor present in a given volume of air regardless of temperature. It is expressed in grams of moisture per cube meter of air gram upon <coughs> per meter. Hot air can hold more water vapor than cold air. The amount of absolute humidity decreases as we go towards the poles. The maximum absolute humidity of water air at 30 degree C is approximately 30 gram of water vapor minus 30 gram or upon meter. The maximum absolute humidity of cold air at 0 degree is approximately 5 gram of water vapor and 5 gram upon 3 meters cube. Absolute humidity does not change with increase or decrease in temperature. Evaporation and condensation form of condensation clouds, dew, frost, fog and mist. Evaporation. By evaporation, the liquid state of water changes into 
water vapor condensation when the invisible water vapor gaseous state changes into water liquid or smoke it is also known as condensation condensation if the air is cooled below its dew point some of the water vapor becomes liquid whenever the dew point temperature falls below the freezing point water vapor may directly convert into ice by the process of sublimation it may be termed as crystallization condensation depends on two factor relative humidity of air and rate of cooling cloud type luke howard in english biologist was the first to classify clouds in 1803 in his book classification and identification of clouds clouds can exist in various heights between sea level fog mist and 13700 and meters above the sea level clouds may also be classified on the basis of their height and shape a classification of cloud is given as follow low clouds from the surface up to 2000 meter stratus column nimbus stratus cumulus heaps columbus strata layer and nimbus rare rain bearing medium clouds from 2000 meters to 6000 meters otter columbus and alto colotris high clouds above 6000 cirrus cirrostris and cirrus columbus importance of clouds clouds are meteorologically significant in various way all precipitation occurs from clouds we do not get precipitation from all the clouds but there cannot be any precipitation without cloud they help us to know more about the various meteorological process clouds also play an important role in the heat budget this is because clouds observe a part of the air incoming solar radiation they reflect some of the incoming solar radiation back to the space and also diffuses some of it clouds also absorb a part of terrestrial radiation and then radiate it back to the surface cloud radiate heat continuously in proportion to their temperature in the absence of these cloud they would have been much warmer and night much cooler as we all know conventional center are limited to the troposphere only so this part of the atmosphere contains all clouds dew during winter objects such as flower leaves grass and rock particle remain exposed to the atmosphere at night and become comparatively cool the cool air holding moisture come in contact with these object and condenses forming tiny droplets of water called dew so children till here we will end our session we will meet in our next video thank you children for your cooperation